way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Hey, Facebook Live. It's Santa's little motor, Officer Shane, for another edition of Ask a Motor Cop. We have a bunch of questions today, so let's dive on in. Our first question is from Miss LaVon. And Miss LaVon asked, is it illegal for a pet to sit on the driver's lap while driving? It is not actually illegal. There is no specific section for that. However, if that pet interferes with the driver's vision or ability to operate that vehicle safely, you could be cited for unsafe speed or unsafe load. Another thing to consider is if you've got Fido or Fluffy on your lap, in the event of a traffic collision, that pet is going to go flying through the passenger compartment and possibly seriously injuring your family pet. So do your pet a favor, make sure your pet is either in a crate or in some sort of harness which uses the seat belt to secure the pet so that way it stays safe. Thank you for that question. Christina, thank you for watching. Excuse me, thank you for watching. A shout out to you. A jingle bell to you. How's that? Our next question is from Anthony and he asked, I know it's illegal to drive with the roof LED light bar, but what about the one on the bumper? And what Anthony is referring to is a pickup truck, a four-wheel drive pickup truck with all the off-road lighting. So that's what he's talking about. And the vehicle code actually says that you cannot have more than four lights on at one time when you're driving. So two of those are going to be headlights. The other two will be the auxiliary lights, whether it be fog lamps, off-road lights, or some sort of passing light. So if you've got one of those LED strips on your bumper, and it's just one unit, uh, that would be three. So you've got the two headlights, and you've got that LED strip. So just keep it no more than four. So four is the maximum. And if you do have one of those off-road lights on, my suggestion is make sure it's pointed down more at the road, so that way you don't blind other drivers and cause a distraction. So thank you, Anthony. Another jingle bell for you. And our next question is going to be from Renee. Renee asks, doesn't a pedestrian have the right of way at any street corner? You're absolutely right. Any street corner where there's an intersection, there is a either going to be a marked or unmarked crosswalk. So a marked crosswalk would obviously be painted. Unmarked crosswalk, there's no paint, but it's a crosswalk when you got two streets meeting. Um, yes, a pedestrian has the right of way. So as long as that pedestrian makes sure it's clear and enters the roadway, either a marked or unmarked crosswalk, as long as they enter safely and legally, they have the right of way. So if a vehicle is approaching from either direction, that vehicle needs to yield to them until they're clear. And also, pedestrians just can't jump out in front of traffic. So pedestrians don't always have the right of way. So if there's cars, at, even at an intersection, they're zooming by, the pedestrian just can't run out or walk out in front of traffic. They have to have due regard for their own safety. So there's actually a section for that. So Renee, great question. Hopefully you out there spread that word because we're having a lot of pedestrian collisions recently. Um, that number's starting to rise. So please pass the word on that. When you're a pedestrian, please have due care when you're crossing the road. Thank you, Renee. Bridget, thank you for watching. Ching, ching. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Thanks for watching. We got another question here. It's from Salvador. Salvador asked, "Can I get into the carpool lane with only a toddler in his car seat?" Short answer: Yes. A toddler is a person, so as long as there's two or more persons in the vehicle, you can use the carpool lane, no matter what their age. So, thank you, Salvador, for that. And we've got Michael. And Michael asked, "When waiting for pedestrians in a crosswalk, when can you continue on your path of travel?" So we. This is another one of those questions I get a lot. So if you're stopped at a limit line, pedestrian's crossing, usually the rule of thumb is if that pedestrian is walking away from you, if they're halfway or more, you're safe to proceed. On the flip side, if they're walking towards you, if they're halfway, please stay stopped, let that pedestrian cross and get clear so that way there's, there's no hazard, there's no conflict. So thank you for that question, Michael. Jingle bell. And we've got an Instagram question and this follower's name hopefully I get it right it's XOK and that person asked when using your windshield wipers when it's raining do you have to have your headlights on um, a couple years ago it was maybe three or four years ago now uh, California actually passed a law 
that if your windshield wipers are continually on, because there's obviously enough rain to have water on your windshield, you have to have your headlights on. So that's a very good question since we've already had a little bit of rain and the rainy, se excuse me, rainy season's coming. So just remember that if there's enough rain where you have to keep those windshield wipers going, have your headlights on as well. It's for safety. So great question. Jingle bell. And Andre. Andre asked, is it illegal to ride next to a motorcycle cop? If not, is it bad to do so? So I think what you mean is riding your motorcycle next to a motorcycle officer. It's not illegal, but here's a couple things to consider. When we ride our police motorcycles, we usually ride paired. So one on the other side of the other. And there's a couple reasons we do this. One is it looks cool. Number two, it's actually a safety thing. Um, I can see that that rider or that other motor officer in my peripheral vision. So if something happens and they have to make an evasive maneuver and I have to make an evasive maneuver, I know what his avenue escape is, I know what mine is. Because um, we have the same training. Um, we, we all go through the same training and we've all been riding for a while so you know we're, we're pretty comfortable with each other. On the flip side of that, a civilian rider, I don't know what your training is. I don't know what your experience is. I would feel very uncomfortable having a civilian rider right next to me. Because if something happens up ahead, I don't know what you're gonna do. That's an extra few seconds that I have to worry and try and make my movement based on your movement. I don't wanna have to do that. So it's probably not the best idea. Just remain staggered. If you come up, if you're riding your motorcycle and you come up to a police motorcycle officer, just stay staggered um, like the, uh, the DMV suggests. So that way, for safety. So that way I don't have to worry about you. You don't have to worry about me. All right, but great question, Andre. Appreciate that. Jingle bell. Uh, we got a question from here from Mark, and Mark asks, can a cop pull someone over outside of their jurisdiction? And yes, we can. We can stop vehicles in surrounding jurisdictions and even on the freeway for any type of traffic violation or any other crime, for that matter, that we observe. So great question, Mark. Jingle bell. Bonnie, thanks for watching. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you for watching, Bonnie. My little Santa impersonation. Hopefully you liked it. And this is going to be our last question. Our last question is from Celeste. And Celeste asked, what about solid white line for the carpool lane? Can you cross or must you wait until there's a dotted line? And not only has she seen this, but I see it as well. So in the past, to differentiate the carpool lane from the mainline lanes, the state of California used to use two sets of double yellow lines. Well, recently, federal guidelines have come down, which tell states that we have to change them to white. So California is actually in the process of doing that. Most of the carpool lanes in Southern California have already been switched over for the most part. So you'll see two solid white line, excuse me, two solid white lines to differentiate the carpool lane from the mainline lanes. Those are the same as a yellow line. So you can't cross over them. You have to wait until it's a dashed white line. So good question. Hopefully I answered it. Ho, ho, ho for you. And a gingerbread cookie too. All right, that's our last question. But before I go, I have a question for you. My question to you is, is it illegal to ride your bicycle with headphones on both ears or earbuds in both ears? Is that illegal? Post your comments below in the comment section and I will answer that question on the next Ask a Motor Cop. And in that episode, we'll also be talking about other bicycle safety items. So please stay tuned for more. As always, if you liked, please hit like, share, subscribe to the channel. And one more thing, from the Anaheim Police Department traffic section, I would like to wish everybody a safe and happy holidays, and I will see you next year.